and welcome to Jurassic Park Evolution 2. So, uh, I uh, unlocked everything now in this game and uh, I wanted to make a video which is uh, showing you where you get all the dinos, how to unlock every dino and uh, yeah, a quick review about the game itself. So here you see a beautiful green T-Rex wandering around. This is uh, my uh, finished map on uh, Jurassic World Chaos Theory. Here you can see what I built. It's not perfect, but pretty nice, nice enough. It got me to five stars. So. Uh, I show you a little bit of the park and then we might go into uh, the loading screen and uh, so where is it? Yeah, here. Yeah. Okay, that's temporary. I put that in with the barnies. Yeah, there is one. So, he's resting. The dinos look, look really nice in this game, heads off to, about that, but otherwise the game uh, is really a big grind. It's not like you continue like in the first game from one mission to the next and then uh, you can keep the dinos you unlocked already for the next uh, mission or Asset the next park, you know, you have to um, unlock everything again and that becomes very expensive especially if you uh, oh how many didn't I unlock there <coughs> some expeditions if you want the T-Rex for example I already have that in this game that's about uh, 10 million or more just just to get the fossils and before that you have to go and unlock it even and there yeah, are so many restrictions and can't go through all of that anyway let's go for the park you can see here this is where you start your park off and then i built that one first originally i had uh, i had it split up so all the dinos you get on and uh, at the start can fit in there but now I only have two waxes and two keratosauruses in there. I really like the green colors on most of the dinos so this uh, is what I go with most of the time. Anyway I try to build it uh, as efficient as possible which uh, means I have to place all the shops and that stuff where the viewing galleries are and uh, yeah so I have a few places where they can uh, uh, visit all those shops and go on a tour ride and as you can see I have a lot of those places all around the main enclosure which is this one and uh, then I build around that all the other enclosures and there is still some space over there I didn't use and uh, if you finish the map off oh we missed how he gets the shark now he eats it um, yeah it's pretty safe to build water enclosures because storms can't really uh, do any harm to that and here you can see the very nice model of <laughs> Dominus Rex destroying a cheat. I also have the interrupt unlocked, but this is not possible in Chaos Fury. Oh, and they're dying like flies. So yeah, this game is uh, much more grindy than the first one. Uh, there are some improvements, but other things are really... Uh, not necessary in my opinion for example you can can't see the status of your dinos if you do not place uh, those things on the map and then the rangers have to visit that and whatnot that's very grindy not a big fan of that 
and uh, yeah, at night it doesn't look that great, but this is uh, not what I wanted to talk about, so I think we best switch into the main game and then I show you where you get all the dinos unlocked because as you can see here um, I have everything unlocked all the dinos and all the different color schemes they can uh, have didn't try all of them out yet but yeah so those <coughs> The Cintasaurus and uh, which was the second one, not the Holotitan. Um, ah, yeah, that one, the Covitosaurus. <coughs> Those are locked uh, within the challenge mode. Um, this one you have to get if you play the main missions, the main campaign, which is a very short and not uh, very interesting game mode and uh, in, I think it's the last one you have the option to get get some dinos from the wild and there you can get this one and if you do not choose to get this one it doesn't unlock so if you play the campaign go for that dino on the last mission if it shows up on the map and then it is unlocked for the game. It is a pretty nice addition to the game, I gotta say. Uh, very hard to unlock, of course, are the Interruptor and the Indominus. Mostly the Interruptor, though. Indominus is not that bad. Because you can do that in Chaos Fury. Anyway, uh, those are the Dinos. And I think we now go to the main menu. Yep. Let's see how long that takes. I mean, I, I was a real big fan of the first game and I played it several times. But on the second one I'm not so sure. So, um, yeah, I already told you about the one dino you get <coughs> only if you play the main campaign. The other ones are locked within the challenge mode or you can also get them through Chaos Fury. So for some carnivores you have to play in Northwest USA. You don't have to finish that uh, on uh, <coughs> Jurassic difficulty. You can do it on easy, of course, to unlock all those. But you have to play that map. And Southwest USA is where you get some of the other dinos, but not the carnivores, herbivores. This is the only way you can get them so where is that sound coming from anyway so you have to play those two maps and those two maps are locked so you have to unlock canada and germany get to five stars i think on both or, uh, or either of those maps to unlock them and uh, then you can play those two maps and if you finish those two maps so at least uh, you have to unlock the dinos, uh, which means you have to get to four stars, I think. Uh, at least on, on, on that one you get the Indominus Rex and the Interruptor. Yeah, so that's not really great. Uh, the campaign is just a long... Uh, uh, start into the game pretty boring i gotta say no park building chaos fury is the best thing but you only build parks in three of them so jurassic park is pretty nice jurassic world it's the hardest one i just showed you how i got to five stars that was the mob map you saw and san diego is my favorite because it's very different from the first game there was no San Diego in there but you could build a Jurassic Park and Jurassic World in the first two games you couldn't do it with a San Diego version those two are just mission based they are take half an hour one hour mostly pretty boring and the <coughs> that one also is a pretty boring addition you don't build a park in there you just rescue some dinos and whatnot so uh, yeah 
Um, I did like the first game more, even though they improved a lot of things, especially how the dinos behave. But if you really play the game and not uh, in sandbox, you don't have time to watch your dinos and uh, all those be behaviors, which some of them are new and look pretty nice. But otherwise, uh, if you want all the dinosaurs unlocked and all the color schemes you have to play on Jurassic difficulty which is pretty hard and time consuming and uh, unlock all the challenge uh, maps and within those maps research all of the dinos and release them. If you do not release them, uh, at first I thought it's enough if I have 100% uh, of them unlocked. No, you have to release them in the game to get them. And yeah, uh, this one is on the last map, for example, as I told you already, uh, the flying dinos and uh, uh, everything in the water that's easier to get than some of the herbivores and carnivores. And uh, yeah, so uh, I guess this is not the best explanation without cutting to uh, specifically where you get them but you get an overview you have to play a lot of hours to get those even if you use a cheat engine it's not easy to get those it takes uh, two or three hours even if you get uh, a cheat in with uh, all the money you can have <laughs> uh, and we instant research you still have to play uh, challenge maps for two or three hours Otherwise, if you play it regularly, it takes maybe 10 hours on some of those challenges to get them finished and, and lock all the dinosaurs. So, uh, yeah, there were um, some obstacles and you have to research all the things again and they are not cheap. You spend millions and you have to wait to get some money to, so you can spend that and then a storm will hit and whatnot. So. Yeah, uh, enjoy the game, but uh, I don't think the replayability is as high as it was on the first one. And yeah, I think with that we will end it here. And uh, yeah, remember if you play the main campaign to unlock that dinosaur, go for it if you find it on the map, because otherwise you won't be able to get it as far as I know. <laughs> And yeah, that's that and I will end that video now if you're interested about more um, videos about Jurassic Park Evolution 2, which is very different uh, from Snow Runner, of course, which is the main content I uploaded so far. Um, yeah, write, uh, write me a comment, uh, I could do more videos about that. Anyway, have a good one. Goodbye, everybody. Au revoir. Allez, Videlci.